Reference Group Influence, demonstrated in Caddyshack the Movie. Hello, my name is James Petty. Welcome, and thank you for viewing my Consumer Behavior Project. This project examines Reference Group Influence, demonstrated in the movie Caddyshack. Reference Group Influence is an important factor in an individual's decision-making process. Understanding how these influences contribute to decision-making, whether referring to behaviors individuals exhibit or the products they purchase, can be instrumental in understanding consumer behavior. Thank you again and I hope you enjoy the presentation. First, I would like to define a reference group as an individual or group of individuals one uses as a source of comparison when forming their attitudes, beliefs, and behaviors. There are several types of reference groups. Formal and informal, which consists of having a clear specified structure. Primary and secondary, consists of face-to-face -face or second-hand interaction and there are also membership reference groups which can be classified as either aspirational one that an individual desires to be affiliated with and dissociative one that an individual does not desire to be associated with there are three types of influence that we will also be observing some reference groups may project one or all three of these influences they are informational, utilitarian, and value expressive. Informational influence is based on an individual's desire to make informed decisions. Utilitarian is based on receiving rewards or punishment. And value expressive influence is based on a psychological need of an individual to be associated with a reference group. When attempting to understand the full implications of influences an individual receives from the reference groups, it is vital to recognize how well those influences complement an individual's pre-existing self-image concepts. There are four types of self-image concepts. Actual self-image is how one sees himself. An ideal self-image or how one desires to see themselves. A social self-image, which is how one believes society views them, and an ideal social self-image, which is how one would like society to view them. The degree to which reference group influences and self-image concepts complement one another establishes the probability these influences will persuade an individual's decisions. The first slide we will observe establishes the plot of Caddyshack. Danny Noonan, a caddy at Bushwood Country Club, asks the advice of a member, Ty, for which he is caddying. It provides an example of Ty, a member of Danny's primary and aspirational reference groups, projecting informational influence on Danny. Hey, Mr. Webb. Can I ask you something? Sure thing. Shoot, Timmy. Danny. Danny. When you were my age, did you ever have trouble deciding what you wanted to do with your life? <laughs> no, I never had that problem. Really. Why? Forget it. I didn't think you'd understand. You take drugs, Danny? Every day. Good. So what's the problem? I don't know. I don't know. Did you have to take that Cooter preference test when you were a senior in high school? Oh, yeah, I took it. They said I should be a fire watcher. <laughs> what are you supposed to be? An underachiever. <laughs> I gotta go to college. I gotta. Uh, Danny, this is in Russia. Is this Russia? This is in Russia. Nah, I don't think so. No, the thing is really, uh, how do you want to go to college? Uh, in Nebraska? Besides, it costs like $8,000 a year. Hold on, Danny. I think I only get, what, two fifty yesterday? I can't foot the bill for everything right here. Just don't ask for money. It's just that my dad, he can't afford it. I haven't even told him about the scholarship I didn't get. I'm going to end up working in a lumber yard the rest of my life. What's wrong with lumber? I own two lumber yards. I notice you don't spend too much time there. I'm not sure where they are. Uh, this scene displays Ty suggesting for Danny to develop his self-image concepts. Providing Danny can establish his desired self-image concepts, the decisions that he ultimately makes should be less complicated by all the reference group influences he is receiving. 
The next scene displays Danny attempting to provide himself the means to attend college. Knowing Judge Smells has control over a scholarship offered by the club, Danny begins to modify his established self-image concepts in order to gain possible rewards. I plan to go to law school after I graduated, but, uh, looks like my folks won't have enough money to put me through college. Well, the world needs ditch diggers, too. Nice try. Depicting Judge Smells as a member of Danny's primary and aspirational reference groups, this scene demonstrated informational, utilitarian, and value-expressive reference group influences. After being informed by Judge Smells, Danny will receive the scholarship. He is again influenced by another aspirational reference group. Resulting from utilitarian and value expressive influences, Danny has to determine which aspirational reference group he desires to be associated with the most. Danny is shown modifying his behavior in order to satisfy his desired self image concepts. Uh. I saw Smells before. He was cheap. Nobody likes a tattletale, Danny. Except, of course, me. Ah! Oh, my arm! It's broken! Good Lord, what is this buffoon done here? now? Let's have a look at that. Well, that might be a fractured owner. Uh, I'm afraid you forfeit. Hey, who says so? The match is a draw. No, you don't, Chernick. You don't play, you lose, right, Lou? That's right, Your Honor, unless you want to allow him a substitute. Huh? Oh, well, uh, uh Spaulding can play out his yeah. holes. Yeah. Uh, actually, Judge, I think it's uh, up to us to pick our uh, substitute. Huh? What do you want? Sonia Henny's out. We'll take Danny Noonan. Oh, Danny's an employee of the club. He can't work and play. Not particularly something as illegal as this. Judge. Hey, kid. If you win, I'll make it worth your while. Well? I'll play. You don't want that scholarship, do you? I guess I don't. I guess you don't. I guess you don't. The final scene we will analyze shows Ty is an informal primary and aspirational reference group member, projecting informational, utilitarian, and value-expressive influences. Once again, Ty suggests for Danny to visualize what he desires and behave in a manner that will satisfy those desires. I got to win this whole. Kind of thought winning wasn't important. Me winning isn't. You do. Great grammar. Daddy. See your future. Be your future. Make. Make. Make it. Make it. Make your future, Daddy. I'm... I'm a veg, Daddy. Take it easy, will you? The degree to which reference group influences and self-image concepts complement each other establishes the probability of persuading an individual's decisions. When harmony exists between reference group influences and pre-established self-image concepts, the decision-making process becomes almost instinctive. Caddyshack repeatedly demonstrates powerful reference group influences, how these influences interact with the self-image concepts, and how this interaction accounts for the degree of persuasion experienced when making decisions. Thank you again for viewing my presentation. I hope you found it both entertaining and educational.